Got your seaweed. All right. Thank you very much. It's delivery day at San Francisco seafood restaurant Afotic. Chef Peter Hemsley includes locally supplied seaweed in a Michelin-rated menu built on responsibly sourced ingredients. When we were confronted with what we know about humanity and how we um, treat the world, it was a best practice. What is the best we can do now? But the journey to the restaurant table actually begins several hours south of San Francisco in the coastal town of Moss Landing. So seaweed, there's three types of seaweeds. There's reds, there's greens, and there's browns. That's where San Jose State professor and kelp biologist Michael Graham is turning decades of marine science into sustainability. The commercial operation is known as Monterey Bay Seaweeds, one of the largest producing seaweed farms of its kind in the country. And so it's a relatively simple system. You know, you pump water in offshore, you run it through some tanks, you use natural sunlight, and you perpetuate seaweed um, to the point where it oversupplies itself. Um, and we're able to harvest it and, and put it into the commercial market. The Aqua Farm, which sits several hundred yards from the Moss Landing Marine Laboratory, is a joint venture with San Jose State. The tanks, which provide a bubbling saltwater home, are Dr. Graham's own design. But he says the key is their ability to draw in the critical ocean water through an existing pipeline. The pipe was originally built for an industrial plant many years ago and later used for research. A legacy structure that would have been difficult, if not impossible, to permit in recent decades. The state of California has a pretty rigid regulatory environment when new things go in the water. And so once we start getting those applications through and getting some pipes in and locations um, that aren't going to do environmental damage, you're going to start seeing these types of systems show up. And there is growing support on several fronts. A number of marine labs in Northern California are growing specimens to help repopulate offshore kelp forests under threat from environmental pressures. North Bay Congressman Jared Huffman has also introduced legislation to streamline commercial regulation, arguing that an expanded kelp farming industry would have both economic and environmental benefits. And there are all sorts of uh, really interesting uses for kelp. Uh, people may think of it as something that, you know, maybe you see in a sushi dish and that's it. Uh, there's actually all kinds of interesting products and applications. Back in Moss Landing, Michael Graham is already planning a major expansion at a second location with an existing seawater pipeline in place, potentially making kelp, seaweed, and other farm products available to a broader market. And we're going to start be able to make seaweed um, and abalone and other shellfish at a price point in which normal consumers and what I mean by normal consumers is people who in their normal lives and in eating would be able to afford including these into their diet. An agricultural revolution in the making along the California coast.